Hello everyone, my name is Tolga. I would like to show you today how to connect Flightgear to MATLAB and Simonic. There are several steps to connect Flightgear. For example, the first step is to install MATLAB and required add-ons. If you have already installed MATLAB, you may pass this section but if you didn't, please stay and watch how to install MATLAB and which add-ons to install to connect Flightgear. So to install MATLAB, you need to enter the MATWORKS website, which is this website here. In here, you need to click Get MATLAB button. There are several options you can choose from. For example, you may require a 30 day trial or you may get a, you may get free access if your school has a campus wide license of MATLAB. You may check for access in here. Also, if you do not want to do these options, select these options, you may buy a plan from MathWorks website to use MATLAB. There are different plans with different costs as well. You also need to make a MathWorks account in here. I have already logged in. After you click whatever option that suits you and get a license of MATLAB you can view that license in my account page and also you can download MATLAB from my account page as well if you did get a license and you selected uh, to download MATLAB you may see a window similar to this in here, I have changed a bit. Uh, in here, you may see your account's email address. You need to click this, but if you do not use Windows, you can click this as well. After you click this and it is loaded, you need to open it. But before, I can explain a few things. You can also select the release that you want to download from here. For now, I selected the latest release. You can see the latest features, also system requirements. Personally, I will, su I will suggest that you have at least 4 GB of RAM on your computer. But for the full list, you need to check this um, link. You can also get the pre-release version as well. After you download this file, click this file, you may get this um, installation file as well. After clicking, you don't need to do anything. It is automatically doing the unzipping process. You need to also apply for the administrator's right. In here, you need to enter the email and the math, uh, in other words, the MathWorks account that you have your MATLAB license in. So enter your email and then click next, enter your password. After you click next, after uh, you entered your password, you can see if you have a license or you may need to enter an activation key on that screen. I'm going to pass these steps for now and go to the next um, step where we need to choose which add-ons to install as well. Also, you may need to accept the license agreement after you logged in.
with your account and then you need to click next to continue like I mentioned I selected my license you may need to enter an activation key if you do not have a license in this part and then we come to the destination selecting part I'm not going to change the path I'm going to click next the next step is <coughs> critical for the installation with MATLAB we need several packages to install as well to connect Flatcher and also mm -hmm. to observe Flatcher characteristics as well in here you need to you need to click MATLAB select MATLAB for the base product we also need to select Simulink also need to select aerospace block set and toolbox these are very important for the Flatcher integration into Simulink also I would suggest you to select the control systems toolbox as well because if you want to optimize PID blocks PID controllers in the Simulink then you may need to use this uh, toolbox as well other than that if you want different uh, products you may choose them in here for example there are navigation and machine learning deep learning toolbox finance toolbox and a lot of other modules as well you can see for example the signal processing toolbox simscape state flow which is actually a very important uh, module as well if you want to use the state flow within Simulink, I would recommend you to select this as well. Personally, I'm not going to select this because the only tasks in this video is aimed at integrating Flightshare to MATLAB and testing Flightshare. So after you select the modules you want, you need to click next as well. After continuing with the several more um, steps to install, you, you may see that the download and installation phase has begun of MATLAB. And it is kind of a straightforward path to here. Uh, from the previous section, I have also selected some options and um, observe if the final installation um, information is correct about my account and then I click next and I'm in this uh, window we need to also wait to uh, for the MATLAB to install one thing that I want to say is if you for example click all uh, MATLAB modules in the previous uh, window if you remember if you select them all the um, installation size might be 30 gigabytes nearly 30 gigabytes for now we only need to install 8 gigabytes nearly for these modules but if you had selected all of the modules this number might be bigger so keep in mind if you want to install another module additional modules as well I would suggest you to only install the modules that um, is within your work area otherwise we need to wait for this to install afterwards uh, when the installation finishes I'm going to 
open the MATLAB and test the MATLAB to see if there are any errors or not. Okay, so the installation has completed, has been completed. You might, you may see this screen. Then we say close. And if you open the directory that we just installed, if you enter the path again, again, you may see that in the MATLAB folder, you may see that this uh, version has been installed. You can also click this and view. You can click bin. In this bin folder, you can click MATLAB to start from the folder. But if you made a shortcut in the uh, desktop, you don't need to enter this path. You can just click MATLAB uh, shortcut in, the, in your desktop or you can select for the MATLAB in uh, search area and start the MATLAB as well. For now, let's try starting MATLAB. doesn't seem to work this fold uh, this app okay never mind it took uh, a little bit of time to open I clicked three times so uh, does three MATLAB applications might open as such I need to close this okay okay let's close this one because we have three open, let's close this one as well. Let's wait. Or we can just click this one. Okay. Okay. When you start MATLAB, you might see um, such a screen. If you want to see tutorials, you might click this for uh, more guides for now I am going to close this in here in this uh, path uh, area you can see the directory we are in as you can see we are in here you can change the directory by clicking browse for folder And in here, for example, let's select the MATLAB directory uh, only for testing. We do not use the, this functionality for now, but we test the uh, test to change the directory that we are in, and we are in here for now. Uh, it's more like a workspace. Uh, we can we may tell in here there is a command window for example let's say x is 5 y is uh, 6 you can see in here the variables are here and this say is that is x multiplied by y Yes, you can see that MATLAB is working without a problem. The installation was successful. For next, we need to check the add-ons that we just installed. Or if you didn't uh, select add-ons while installing, you can do it now. After clicking here, what we need is <coughs> Simulink. Press enter. In here, <clears throat> uh, 
Also, this simulink coder is a very nice add-on as well. You can generate code scripts from simulink models. If you want to use that, keep that in mind as well. Okay, it is it has been loaded. You can see that in my computer I have already installed Simulink. You can see it in this yellow label in here. If you didn't install Simulink, you might uh, you may not see this, and you may see uh, an install button around here. You need to click install. Let's come back or search in here. Next, we need to look for aerospace log set. It is installed in my computer. Also, aerospace toolbox. This is also installed in my computer as well. Uh, you can also look for control system toolbox and here it is installed in my computer as well so all of the add-ons uh, required add-ons for to connect the flat chip to MATLAB are installed uh, as a final note I can also test the simulink for example let's click this button To start the simulink, let's uh, produce a blank model to test the simulink software. Also, in the meantime, you can see that our space block set templates are here as well. You may select them and browse through them. There are um, several different uh, aviation templates uh, in this section. While installing, I can also say that if you are, uh, if you do not have the training or experience to use MATLAB and related software, you may open the MATWORK site again and search for learning there are uh, self-paced courses which are for example called matlab on ramp simulink on ramp and state flow on ramp etc there are many courses in uh, in the website okay simulink is working without a problem to test for example click library browser uh, Let's click commonly used blocks and say, uh, um, carry a constant in here. I click hold the mouse and drop the block in here. Okay. So Let's click run to test. Yes, so this in my computer simulink is working without a problem as well. I'm closing this. So we can say that this step is completed for now. For the next step, please um, get to the next video in the playlist. Thanks for watching.